Anthem is finally dead, and I consider this to be some very good news. What's up Game Brew Streamcast Guy here, and I know what you're saying, wasn't Anthem dead a long time ago? Well, not quite. So this game has got to be one of the most highly talked about, hotly debated, and sometimes downright hated projects of last generation. Mostly because Anthem is something that had pretty much unlimited potential. When it initially came out, everybody was excited because it was being made by Bioware. Now before this, Bioware was a very loved studio. They made some huge, epic, galactic stories like Mass Effect and Dragon. Dragon Age. So randomly when they said that they were going to be making an online shooter with electronic arts, people were at least open-minded to it. Well, the game turned out to be a complete dumpster fire that was so incredibly unfinished. And I say this as somebody who beat it. I put a lot of hours into Anthem before I realized that it is a complete freaking mess. I mean, the controls were decent. When you were flying around or shooting aliens or trying to get that next upgrade, it was at least a decent experience. The controls were tight enough that you could almost kind of forget that the game itself didn't have much going on. Like, there just wasn't a lot of content, and really, at the end of the day, the story didn't matter, the guns didn't matter. Like, nothing about the game really managed to stick, and so because of it, the game kind of collapsed. But what's been going on is, over the course of last year, there's been these people that have been talking about the fact that Bioware didn't want to give up on Anthem. They kept trying to just say, we have this spark, we have this real love for the project, and we just don't want to quite kill it yet. So they've been working on something that was originally being called Anthem Next. They had a bunch of the original people who made the game still tinkering with it, still tuning it, still trying to make the game actually playable. Well, they've just decided to cancel that. Everybody working on Anthem has just been moved to other projects. Now, let's look at the official statement. This was just released minutes ago. Anthem update. Friends, in the spirit of transparency and closure, we wanted to say that we've made the difficult decision to stop our new development of Anthem next. We will, however, keep the Anthem servers live and running today. All right, so basically, there's not going to be any more patches, there's not going to be any more content, there's not going to be any more events. The game is dead as dead can be. Since Anthem's launch, the team has been working hard to continually improve the game, releasing multiple updates that brought with it a variety of improvements and introduced new content to play. Towards the end of 2019, we expanded on that effort and started working on a more fundamental restructuring of the game, which this is definitely the beginning of Anthem Next. So that means that this is over a year of work. This basically means that they've been just tinkering on this since the beginning of 2020 till the beginning of 2021, and now they've decided to just press a big old giant delete button on it. It seems like a major reason they even waited this long to actually just cancel the game itself to completely move on is the sunk cost fallacy, which is a frame of mind that sometimes you spend so many hours working on something, or so many days, or sometimes even so many millions of dollars just tinkering with a project, you're afraid to walk away from it. You're afraid to just kind of jump out to the plane before you can manage to fly it off into the moon. I mean, it's the idea of like, sometimes you're afraid to sabotage a project and walk away from the damage because you think maybe I can still fix it when all of us who actually played the game know Anthem was way beyond saving. That game sucked from day one and no amount of content was ever going to improve it. But let's look more at this statement. A lot of what they talk about here is of course that in 2020 a lot of people had to do the work from home and game developments on a laptop in your like tiny apartment it's just not as easy. They go on here to talk about the fact that there's been players of the community who are going to be disappointed. Let me tell you, there is no Anthem community left. Like, nobody's been excited for this game. It's just been so dead for so long. I, I don't even know what this pandering here is, but basically this guy is saying that Anthem is what brought me to Bioware, and these last two years have been some of my most challenging and rewarding experiences of my career. Game development is hard. Decisions like these are not easy. Moving forward, we need to laser focus our efforts as a studio and strengthen the next Dragon Age and Mass Effect titles while continuing to provide the quality updates to Star Wars The Old Republic. To the Anthem community, thank you for your passion and creativity. Your feedback and suggestions most certainly shape the team's direction. And on a personal note, your kindness and encouragement were much needed. Please stay safe and be kind to each other. Strong alone, strong together. Okay, so I kind of appreciate the fact that he's trying to take this positive note to it, but 
It's kind of crazy to think how long they spent on this, how many months and years and time was dumped into Anthem when really nobody knew the direction of it. Like, there's been so many deep dive leaks explaining the fact that pretty much everybody in the studio, when it came to the Anthem project, they had no idea what the game was going to be like. There's actually reports that people who were working on this game were watching the trailers and saying, is this really supposed to be a feature? Is this really supposed to be something I need to be finishing or working or even trying to invent? From the very beginning, the game was never going to work. The more we see these games that are just so dramatically overhyped, so overpromised, so beyond expectation that when they finally come out and obviously suck, people just say, how did this happen? I think that because of messes like Anthem, I've become so much less trusting of teases, of impromptu stuff. I mean, at this point, I don't believe a game is even real until I've played the beta, played the demo, or played the game itself. Until I can get a chance to experience the world, it's very difficult to believe the hype. Anthem, as much of a huge, expensive coluster f this has been, I think it's also managed to educate a lot of gamers not to believe your eyes, only believe your fingers. But these have just been my thoughts. Are you like me? Are you excited for the fact that Anthem is dead? Wowzers! Think about the fact that this means that we're going to be taking those people that actually know how to make good controls. Who are they going to be doing next? Where are they going next? Are they going to be tinkering with more stuff on Dragon Age or Mass Effect? Does this mean that Mass Effect might have some decent shootings? Who knows? Let's find out. But, uh... I mean, it's still difficult to trust Bioware in general, but at least this project is finally getting the axe that it deserves. Thanks so much for watching, gamers. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share with your friends, and subscribe if you haven't already. But do me the biggest favor of all, and keep dreaming. I actually have another giant video that's already done. I'm going to be releasing it like an hour after this, but uh, I did a huge predictions video for the state of play we're getting tomorrow, and uh, it's long and juicy. I have a lot of games that I hope we see during the state of play, so go watch that video. I'm, I'm going to post it here in a bit. Maybe it's already up. Go, go check the channel and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching that video. If you want to see something else, you can always click this link to see what I put up last or, you know, subscribe and see what's coming up next. Also, I promise that whatever I do, it'll try not to suck.